Well, it was a good day to soak up some cloud cover along our coastline. <laughs> now that people are finally allowed to go back to the beaches and just hang out for a while, Carlene. Not a bad idea. And even for tomorrow, Barbara Lee, we're still talking about seeing those high clouds. They're going to stick around throughout most of the week. But just keep in mind, temperatures are going to be warmer tomorrow. So we were still above average with our temps earlier today, taking a look at how we shaped up. Above average by four degrees for the desert, 102 Borrego Springs today, west of the mountains, five to 10 degrees above average for the most part. And we were about six degrees above average for downtown. So don't let those clouds fool you. We still had the heat going 71 degrees current temperature for downtown also some people out there on the water and we have some light winds out of the west at eight miles per hour so the high cloud cover will stay intact and it's all from an area of low pressure that's just going to hang around then just kind of wait for its moment to move closer towards us and that won't be until friday as a trough of low pressure over the pacific northwest steers it in our direction so it's about a little bit more than 500 miles offshore and so that's what's been supplying a lot of the high cloud cloud cover and so you look at the cloud cover inside and you think okay maybe it's a little bit cooler outside but no because this is subtropical moisture and it's continuing to be moving through we're looking at that in our forecast all the way into tomorrow as well so that low is just going to kind of hang back by tomorrow. And that's because we're gonna have an area of high pressure that's gonna build over the Southwest, bringing in the heat. We will be above average with our daytime highs for tomorrow. Also some dangerously hot temperatures for the desert. That high pressure system looks to back off as we go into the second half of the week. And so that's when that low will start to move closer towards us being ushered in by yet another one just towards the north of it. So with hot highs, we are talking about dangerously hot temperatures for the desert. Desert. Highs up to 111 are now expected. It was a watch yesterday, now upgraded to an excessive heat warning. Cooling won't come until about Friday. Taking a look at our surf forecast, if you do want to get out there because beaches are open, you can sunbathe and everything. We do have a moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches. Also, wave heights about two to four feet. Just double check and make sure the beach you like to go to is open. Taking a look at our eight day microclimate forecast, we have book and hot day. Days. So for the coast, we'll be into the upper 70s tomorrow, pretty mild, but still warmer than average. Low 90s for the inland valleys, back into those 70s by Friday with that trough of low pressure finally moving in, offering up a slight chance we could see some light showers, but some much cooler temperatures, which is definitely going to be needed for the desert. Back to you. All right, thanks, Carlene.